Well, here we are, the last se uh, summer session of the Photographic Society. Uh, we're out at the Top Lock Inn area trying to get some pictures in this stunning weather. It's as black as can be, and the weather's forecast for rain. So, what am I going to take? Because there's nothing to play around with. So, it's time to photograph some lights. And I like the, the way that they're going backwards and forwards. Um, but they're a bit static, they're a bit dull, although they are bright for lights, but they're a bit dull, if you know what I mean. So, what I'm going to do is try and move the camera around a bit to see if I can make something of interest here. Um, to get this, uh, I'm going to set my camera to quite a slow shutter speed, around one second. And to get that, I'm working at f16. I've put the ISO down to the, the lowest, which is 100. And what I'm going to do is... Uh, switch the camera on, which is always a good start. I'm not bothering with the viewfinder. Um, basically, I'm going to try and... When it starts, here we go. So, there we go. I don't think you can see in the viewfinder. Um, I'm using quite a wide-angle lens. And what else I'm going to do against that dark background is press the shutter and just turn the camera. So, if I bring that a bit closer, you can see uh, the effect I've got. Now that's moving it quite quickly. If I go back now and, for example, simply move the camera around in a slow arc, we've now got a series of rather funny looking horseshoes. So basically, just by moving the camera uh, in different directions and at different speeds, we can get quite different, different effects. As as, as you can see. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You do a lot of practice, you do a lot of shots before you get something that's worthwhile having. But it's just another thing to try when the weather's not being kind to you and you're out with your camera. If you've enjoyed this video, go onto our website, there are far more, and the address is down here. Thank you.